Do you struggle with your short game? If so, I have something in my golf bag that might, might just help. This is the Maisel Chipper. It comes with its own head cover. We paid $81.50 for it. Um, and really the design is there to help those players, I think it's fair to say, who struggle with their short game. Uh, so it is slightly different to what you would expect with a normal wedge. And we're gonna give it a good test here. So we're gonna take it out onto the golf course, hit it in a few different positions and find out just what this chipper can offer. Okay, so before we take this out onto the golf course uh, to test it out, just a quick word on how it's designed to help you with your short game. The first thing you'll notice is how wide the sole is here. It's quite a sort of low profile head wide sole with a beveled leading edge. Hopefully you can see that there. And I guess all of this is really designed to help improve the forgiveness and ensure that the club doesn't get stuck in the turf. So if you are someone who has a tendency to dig a little bit with their wedges, the wedge gets stuck in the turf, perhaps this might help you out a little bit. Now, the other thing to notice is it's 35 inches long. So if I put it up against my standard set pitching wedge, hopefully you can see the mazel is at least, I guess probably an inch there shorter than my standard uh, pitching wedge, which should help you provide that little bit more control if that's what you're after. Uh, and then the last thing to say is you've got a few different loft options. So there's 35 degrees, 45 degrees, 55 degrees, and it even goes up to 60 degrees. So there's a few different options in there if that's what you're looking for. I've got the 45 degree option. Let's give it a go. Right, so time to put this Maisel chipper to the test. Now I've been thinking a bit about the sort of technique I'd want to use. And I think I'm gonna go for what would be a fairly standard putting stroke and putting grip. And the reason for that is because if you have a look at my 46 degree wedge, this is my pitching wedge, it's 46 degrees. My, the mazel that I've got is 45 degrees, yeah, 45 degrees. And you can see the difference in the lie angle. So I'll show you that, that's the sort of difference in the lie angle. So there's a lot more angle with the wedge in comparison to the mazel. So this makes me feel like I want to stand a little bit closer to the ball and, and have that sort of pendulum action. You kind of want to take the variables about hinging your wrists and, and using a more complicated action that might get you into a bit of bother. I've chosen specifically a spot with a, um, a sprinkler head in the way. This is the sort of thing that you face quite a bit on the golf course. I wouldn't want to chip this, I'd want to putt it. But perhaps this is a, a, a good club to use in a scenario like this. So I'm going to hit this shot and then I'm going to hit a whole host of others and feedback with how I got on. So as you've seen, I've hit a whole host of different chip shots around the green. I've hit some longer bunker shots and pit shots as well. Plus, I've taken the Maisel chipper out with me onto the course and used it during 18 holes. So I feel like I'm in a pretty good position to say what I do and don't like about this. And I think the areas where I wouldn't use it would be on those longer pit shots and bunker shots. I just wasn't in as much control over those as I would be with my own wedges. I think particularly from the bunker, I don't know if that had something to do with the lie angle, but I think, the area where I did see a real benefit to having this club was in a scenario like this, and every golf course has them. So slightly scrappy areas, areas where there's not as much grass underneath the ball as you'd like. You've got to have a shot for scenarios like this because every golf course has them. And uh, they do instill fear into a lot of golfers, myself definitely included. I'd be in real danger of duffing this if I was hitting a wedge shot from here. But with this chipper, I've got a, a sort of a, almost like a solution, which is a little bit safer. So I can just use a normal putting stroke putting technique, I can almost catch the ball slightly thin, like that. So that's caught a fraction thin, but I'm telling you right now, that's done much, much, much better than if I was using a wedge from a scenario like this. So I think if you're somebody that either you play on a golf course with a lot of areas like this, or you just your confidence in your chipping isn't where it, you'd want it to be, and you're looking for something that just gives you a solution in these either from tight lies or from difficult lies, then I think this chipper could offer you something. So for me, I think it was the combination of the design of the golf club plus the technique that I was using that was giving me better results than if I was using my own wedges. 
Okay, so I've had a really enjoyable morning here testing out this Maisel chipper here at West Hill. I think before I started testing it, I wasn't particularly uh, taken by the whole idea, but the more shots I hit with it, particularly from those difficult, tricky lies around the greens, the more I could see just how playable this might be for certain golfers. Um, so if you are somebody, as I said before, who does struggle with your short game, and the short game is, is one of those areas that for some people just causes them real trouble, and if you can find a shot that's a bit safer, that gets you back in the game a bit quicker and a, without too much damage to the scorecard, um, then I think it could really help. And this it certainly encourages that. For me, I, I was at my best with this when I was using a really simple putting action and just popping the ball up and onto the, the green. And I'd say that over the course of the testing that I did, particularly from those difficult lies, I was more consistent with this than I would have been with my own wedges. So it is certainly something well worth considering. And I would be very interested to hear from anyone watching this who's actually put a chipper into play. What do you think? How has it helped you? I think it's been really interesting to hear thoughts from somebody who's put it into play in competition over a longer period of time. Because from my testing here, the initial testing that I've done, I can definitely see the benefit of something like this for certain types of players, maybe on certain golf courses. Uh, but that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.